Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we're going to go through the steps to uninstall the Windows 10 April 2019 update or version 1903 to go back to the previous installation. You may want to do this because the update is not working correctly, the installation didn't complete successfully and you need to reinstall it or if you're just not ready for the new version. Before proceeding you have to make sure that the windows.all folder is available. If it's not, you won't be able to uninstall the new version as this folder contains the previous installation files. Also, it should be noted that you can only do this during the first 10 days since you installed the April 2019 update. After the 10 days, Windows 10 will automatically delete the windows.all folder and you won't be able to uninstall this version. If you want to roll back after the 10 days, the only way to do this is to do a clean installation of Windows 10 without the April 2019 update. Once you confirm that the windows.all folder is on computer and it is not empty, as you can see right here, you can proceed with the steps to remove this new version. To do this, open the settings app, then go to update and security, then on recovery, click this button to get started. Select any reason and click next. Click not tense. Before continuing, make sure to understand that going back to the previous version, you will need to reinstall some applications and you will lose those settings applied after the upgrade. Click next. If your password is different from the one you had before, make sure you know the old password, otherwise you won't be able to access your account after removing the new version of Windows 10. Click next. Once you click the go back to an earlier build button, your computer will restart and the rollback process will begin. This process should not affect your files, but it's always a good idea to create a full backup of your computer and data in case of something goes wrong. I don't need to remove the latest version on this computer, so I will click the cancel button, but that's exactly what you need to do to uninstall the April 2019 update or version 1903 to go back to the previous installation. Make sure to check the video notes for important information such as the release date of this new version of Windows 10 and more. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.